Hi, welcome back. This is John from Second Chance Shed. Um, another sort of not, a, you could say it's an unboxing, but there's no box. So we'll make do. Didn't come with one. So today we're looking at this bag. And I just bought this bag from Kmart. And I'll just go through and just describe sort of a little bit about it first. Uh, it's called the Anko, that's that sort of Kmart exclusive brand, Anko 50 litre multi-purpose bag. Just go over, I did have my tape measure here to go through the dimensions for you, um, but I'll read out what they've got first and then we'll compare. So the height, 26 centimetres, the width, 30 centimetres, and the depth, 60 centimetres. It sort of seems with a lot of these products that they put the depth as the longest dimension. I always put the length, I suppose, as the longest dimension, but we'll have a look. So height, 26 centimetres. All right. Yeah, I'd say it's about spot on, 26 centimetres in height. Let's have a look at the next one, the width, 30 centimetres. Now I'm going to put, um, I'm going to put the width as this dimension across here, spot on, 30 centimetres, and the depth, okay, which is 60 centimetres according to them, and yeah, spot on, 60. So at least they can get their measurements correct, that's very good. So I'm just going to talk a little bit about the uh, what they have got on their label, and then we'll talk about it a bit more. So it's a large insulated utility organizer with removable foldable storage box and additional smaller removable cooler bag. Perfect for trunk or garage storage. Sounds great. Removable bags are great for groceries or storing sports equipment. You might be asking yourself, why did I buy this? And why did I go to Kmart to buy something? Well, I did a little bit of research and I was after something that I could put my perishable um, kitchen items, like food that you're going to take camping, but stuff that you're not going to put in your esky with all your ice or you're in your portable fridge freezer. Just things that you'd just rather put to a bag, tomato sauce, other things like that. Um, and I might be able to even store some of my camping uh, kitchen utensils in here. I had a look around, the prices really go up and down all over the place depending where you go. I looked at Anaconda, I looked at um, some other camping sort of related stores. To get a bag, similar dimensions, similar sort of quality, you're looking at a lot more at those other camping stores. I just happened to stumble upon this really at Kmart when I was picking something else up. And I had a little look and I thought this is fantastic, it's a good price. The price, $39 flat. So I think that's that's a really good price considering something similar to this, and when I say similar, I mean size and quality, you're looking at probably twice to even three times the price somewhere else. Okay, so obviously I haven't even opened this yet. I've looked at the one that was on the shelf in Kmart, but I haven't opened this one yet. So it's gonna be kind of like a fresh, fresh unboxing, so to speak. Let's look at the outside first. Now this obviously is black, it's, it's really, really kind of heavy duty, I think PVA or nylon material. Um, it's got these large, large industrial, or well not industrial, but camping style zips. This is something I thought was great. These handles, this is, these are not cheap handles. These are solid, solid sort of um, nylon handles that you could take a lot of weight with these and they're not gonna come off. It's sort of almost, like seat belt material. That's why I thought this is going to be something good. Um, the outside is mostly all that material, that same sort of PVA nylon um, seat belt style material. You do have some external pockets. You can see here you could put something sort of loose in there to hold it if you needed to. These also have these uh, little clasps or uh, connectors. I'm not really sure of the name, but it allows you to take this off if you want, which I think that's that's really good. This is uh, basically like elastic bungee material. Um, I like that little option there, quick, quick putting something there. Looking at this, this, this material here in the middle 
it feels it feels good quality it feels strong but it almost, it almost has a feel of almost felt to it but it doesn't feel like it would fall apart nice little pocket there let's have a look you got a pocket here that's about a, got a 200 mil opening and the depth of this little pocket goes down to the bottom of the bag about 140 mil deep you could probably fit in just a, like maybe a, a, a wallet uh, a small uh, or small purse mobile phones cords in there so I think that's quite good this material here um, these are more pockets this is sort of this um, breathable um, synthetic sort of material here um, let's have a look at the size of these pockets so about 120 mil across by about 150 mil down these are these elastic pockets you could put small uh, maybe small cups not probably a big water bottle but small cups or you could put some plastic bags in there store some plastic bags um, on those and that would be that would be a good way to easily access them if you needed to or even a bit of rubbish when you're packing up let's look at the top of the bag now not only does it have these really strong handles that it have uh, that I spoke about before it's got this other central handle that's connected only to the top um, sort of lid so to speak I probably wouldn't use this handle if there was a lot of stuff in here because you can see it's only connected to the top part of the bag and that top part of the bag, bag is connected to the bag via the zip so you probably wouldn't want to put too much um, pressure on this because you might damage your zip the handle itself is that same sort of synthetic sort of felt material as the sides underneath it has that breathable elastic uh, material the same as the side pockets good size handle very comfortable in the hand um, let's look at the sides Basically, it's a similar handle. It's sort of a mix between the other two. So you've got this that same sort of strong nylon material inside, and just to sort of support your hand, that sort of uh, felt-like material. So these side handles, they look really, really, really strong. Um, and if you did put a lot of stuff in this, you could have one person here, another person on the other end. Also on the end, you've got this small little metal loop and it's on it's on both ends which is really handy as well if you had to sort of tie it down the back of the ute and uh, put some bungee cords or oki straps on there to hold it still or you could put some carabiners on there if you're someone that needs to do that i'm also seeing something connected to this so i like to open it up just before i do let's have a look at the back and this is the back because it's not like the front um, that really heavy duty material uh, another pocket here so across the top, 200, oh, yep, the opening is, this one's a little bit bigger, about 220 mil across and about 150 mil deep. This, this is a nice little pocket on the back, similar in size to the one on the front. Um, okay, how about before I open it up, let's look at the bottom. Now this is something... When I spotted it, I thought this is pretty good. This is a decent bag. This is a really solid, molded style plastic, but it's flexible plastic base. And it's got these heavy duty sort of um, feet, little sort of skids on the bottom. So if you put this in the back of an aluminium tray back, slide it around, you're not gonna be damaging this. And another thing I like about this style of, of bag with these solid bases, it keeps it from twisting, the whole bag from twisting when you pick it up. And it so it supplies rigidity. As you can see these, these ribs going all along the whole way. Um, another thing that's great, because it's got these other hard plastic feet, um, it keeps it slightly off the surface. So if there is a little bit of condensation or a little bit of wetness on the ground, it's slightly kept off the surface. The water is not going to come through here. Really well thought out um, base of this bag. Okay, so let's turn it around. Now, before uh, I was talking about something being connected over here, and I'll turn it so you can see it, something being connected to this, this metal loop. I'm assuming it's going to be another handle, maybe a shoulder strap handle. So let's unzip this. The zips feel pretty good quality. Um, 
you can probably see I'm pretty excited about this bag. For, for a Kmart bag already, it's impressing me a lot. Okay, so let's, we'll just pull some things out and then I'll, I'll go into everyone individually. So this looks like it's going to be some sort of internal box. Let's fold it up. This looks like a standalone little cooler bag, which comes with this bag. So that's got some insulation. Strong kind of quality matching the rest of the bag. Um, another box, another little divider box. So this is going to be popular with uh, the parents out there that really like to separate and compartmentalise everything. Okay, so this shoulder strap we've got here. Just a stray thread, nothing to worry about there. Once again, this really nice heavy duty seat belt nylon sort of material. Um, a nice metal uh, adjusting sort of clip here to adjust, to adjust the length. This is all metal and it all feels, um, you know, it, it's probably cheap cast, um, you know, printout sort of metal, but it does feel reasonable quality and you can swivel it, uh, you can connect it to this metal loop and you've got that nice sort of felt material as um, a cushion for your shoulder. So I think that's great. They've really thought this out. They've thought out the different options of carrying this bag, whether you want to have two people on one, one on each end or one person doing that. You have the main one if you want to carry it like a duffel bag. You have the shoulder one as well. So they really, really have accommodated us with the options to carry this. Let's look at the lid, okay? If you come up with a better name than me for the lid, tell me in the comments. So another pocket, another pocket incorporated into the top of this. So let's just have a quick look at the dimensions. So the length of this pocket is 300 350 mil long, so you can actually get something quite, quite large in this. The depth of the pocket is about 210 mil. It's opened not by Velcro, um, like the other ones on the outside. This one is opened by zip, and the material um, on the outside of the pocket is that flexible, um, elastic, synthetic material. I think this, let's just call it now, this entire bag is synthetic. So, very nice. It's actually, because it's elastic, it allows quite bulky things to be put in there um, that you might want to keep out of sight. Another thing, these little elastic loops that are integrated into the lid, um, you could put lots of different things in here um, that you want to keep from rolling around or moving around, or, or if you want it for easy access to pull that out. Um, so there's two two, I guess, columns of loops, and yeah, I'll have to figure out what I'm going to put in there, maybe kitchen utensils. Over here is a different thing. Now, this is kind of similar to that seat belt material. It's quite heavy duty, it's stitched right in deep. Um, I imagine this is intended for maybe uh, putting a carabiner on, or, or a loop to hold something there more permanently. I'm um, not really sure what the purpose of these ones are as yet, but we'll find one. On both sides, and this is this is getting better by the second, on both sides of the lid, you've got these kind of like shoelace material loops. Now this is fantastic if you're out camping. Um, if you want to have this, this open the whole time, so you can grab all your stuff out of there, you can just hook this up, and it's not going to be laying down and, and or getting in the way. You can hook this up, and the lid will stay up quite nicely. And it's also good if you do get some moisture inside and you want to air it out. So you could have this held up, help the bag air out. All right, so that's, that's the lid. Really impressed with this lid. Okay, now just feeling the structure of this bag. The ends, this is completely um, flexible, loose, there's no internal structure, but the inside of these long ends, this one, a full length, it has some sort of, I suppose, hard plastic in there to maintain the shape. This one here, I only has it about from this side to this side, some hard plastic integrated. So it's still relatively flexible, but it's got this hard plastic to keep the bag sort of sitting upright. If you look inside the bag, you've got this, this reflective sort of insulated material that you often see inside Esky bags. Um, nice, big, flat um, base. Another reason I think this is a good bag 
it's so open. The mouth of it is so open. So you can open it all the way up, put something bulky in there. Um, you can clean it out really easy because every part of the inside of this bag is visible. There's no additional pockets inside this material, but you don't need that because we've got those other little compartments. Okay, um, if you're curious, if you saw something, that's just one of those dry um, silica gel packets. Okay, so I'll just put that down. I don't know if there's anything else to look at. I already mentioned the zips, they're pretty good quality. Um, that's about it just for the bag itself. So how about I just sort of put that to the side and we look at some of these inserts that come with it. So this is for storing um, perishable goods that need a little bit of um, cooling. So you might put some cool packs in here to keep it nice and cool. This material, I'm happy that the material of this, this individual bag that goes inside, it matches the quality of the rest of the bag. This is that seat belt material again, heavily stitched into the actual top of the lid of the bag. Um, I like the black, it's nice. It's also nice that it can fold up nice and flat really easy. You could probably store quite a lot in this bag, enough for a good few days camping or whatever you need. Um, label here, let's say, see if it says anything interesting. So the cover, so what I've been talking about, this sort of nylon material, it says it's polyester, the filling, so this grey part is, is polyethylene, uh, and the lining is PVA, or oh, maybe I've got that the wrong way around, maybe the silver part is the PVA, and inside this, which you're not really getting to, is the polyethylene, which I guess acts as an insulator as well. Um, care instructions, wipe clean with a damp cloth, no surprises there at all. And if you're curious, it did just say made in China. Alright, so I like this. Let's have a look at the zip. Um, smaller than the rest of the bag, but the same quality, which I like. And it's got this little, little polyester sort of tab on there to make it easy. Very, very nice. Let's see if I um, can easily sort of nest this in the bag. Alright. I've got all my beers or carrots in here. You can see this, when it's in there, it takes up about half, about half the bag. Alright. Over here, now, I think these are just boxes. They feel more um, sturdy than the cooler insert. These feel like it has that hard plastic inside it. Let's have a look. Wow, okay. It's even got a hard flat bottom. That's really good. So if you're putting in um, things that are in, um, in glass packaging or something that's breakable, you might want to think about putting them in here. So this nice hard bottom to protect it. Uh, the outside of this bag is the same as this, identical, but this has obviously hard plastic embedded inside these walls. Um, once again, it's just like, a, just like a cube. It looks just like a cube, essentially. Um, and this one, See how much trouble I have putting it in here. Very nice. So if you've got the cooler bag and sort of like the hard case bag inside, it takes up the entire volume of this bag, which leaves us with this extra one. Now let's see if this is any different. No, it's literally just um, another one of these hard case ones. So you get two of these. Good quality. Very practical, I like this. Very nice. I can't see um, really any manufacturing faults with this as well. So for a Kmart purchase, this is really blowing my previous expectations of the quality that comes from Kmart. As well that it's branded with Anko. I know that's some sort of exclusive Kmart brand. Um, I've had things that were Anko before that were pretty cheap, but this, you could pass this off, this whole package I think so far, probably for like a $150 to $200 um, set, considering what you get. You can carry this on the outside. You could probably put a fair bit of weight in this and it would still not feel like it's gonna break anything. Mainly because you've got these really high quality handles. Once again though, the lid that the handle is stitched to is only held to the rest of the bag by the zip. So I probably wouldn't put anything too heavy in there. 
All right. That's what you get with this. Um, let's just have a look if there's anything else I've missed. All right. So the mystery must be solved. So a lot of you might be looking at this going, this kind of looks familiar, this sort of bag. Um, especially sort of the, uh, the camouflage sort of pattern there. The, uh, tell me what that is. There's a special name for that, I think it is. So forest camouflage. It's actually branded, this bag, not Anko, like it sort of says on the Kmart tag, it's branded Mossy Oak, which does sound familiar. I remember Mossy Oak being a brand that a lot of hunters um, use. They, they buy a lot of products with the brand Mossy Oak. Um, so interesting, interesting. So official licensed product um, by Mossy Oak. Um, and I think, I might be wrong, but I think it's an American brand. Let me know in the comments. Overall, pretty, pretty, pretty pleased. Now, what I'll do, uh, I know in my previous videos, they've been a little bit annoying because I've only really been sitting here. I've tried to move a bit closer to the camera. What I'll do is I'll do some close-ups of all this as well. If you like this video, um, just give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you like. I'm trying to get the videos out uh, a little bit more frequently. Um, if you've got any comments about this, this video about how maybe I could improve um, this, let me know. Um, don't be too ruthless, but yeah, all good. Um, I'll see you next time.